In the mid-20th century, the great American psychologist Abraham Maslow conceptualized a hierarchy of needs that helps explain our motivation for doing what we do. Maslow proposed five needs that must be met in a specific order for us to become our true selves, which he called self-actualization. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is usually presented as a pyramid, suggesting that we will not be motivated to meet the needs of one level until the needs of the preceding levels have been met. The vast majority of my clients suffer from anxiety and depression due to unmet needs that continue to fester and prevent them from becoming their true selves. By understanding where you fall on Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you can identify where you're stuck and then determine what needs must be met so you can continue your journey to your true self. Here are Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Need number one, physiological. These are our most basic needs, air, food, water, warmth, and sleep. If you are suffocating, starving, dying of thirst, freezing to death, or seriously unable to sleep, then your only motivation will be to breathe, eat, drink, obtain shelter, or find some way to sleep. In other words, you will remain stuck in absolute survival mode until these basic physiological needs are met. Need number two, safety. It's feeling safe in our environment, free from threat at home and in the community. If you live in an abusive household, a crime-ridden neighborhood, or a war zone, then you'll spend much of your energy and motivation just trying to feel safe. In addition, if you were abused as a child or grew up in chaos, then your brain might be trained to chronically expect disaster even when you're safe, which is a simple definition of an anxiety disorder. And if your anxiety is significant, then you can remain stuck in trying to meet your safety needs, which can prevent you from becoming your true self. Need number three, love and belongingness. When our physiological and safety needs are met sufficiently, love and belongingness become our next most important needs. So we strive to attain friendships, intimacy, affection, love, and connection to groups such as family, religious affiliations, co-workers, clubs, or sports teams. Research has shown that we are hardwired for love and to be loved, both through romantic and non-romantic relationships. If you are unable to build healthy relationships, then you are at great risk for loneliness and depression, which can prevent you from becoming your true self. Need number four, esteem. With our needs for love and belongingness met, we have built a platform for learning to love, value, and appreciate ourselves, which is the next need in Maslow's hierarchy. In fact, Maslow described two types of esteem needs, lower esteem, in which we feel accepted and respected by others, and higher esteem, in which we respect and love ourselves. Now the lower esteem needs are mostly addressed in the previous stage of love and belongingness, which is why growing up in a highly dysfunctional or abusive environment is so devastating for children. If you felt disconnected from or unloved by your own family, it is difficult to achieve the higher esteem of loving yourself, because you probably decided long ago that you were unworthy of it since even your family couldn't love you. As such, you can remain mired in shame and be unable to become your true self. Need number five, self-actualization. When our previous needs are sufficiently met, we are poised to reach our full potential. If you feel safe and secure, well connected to others, and view yourself with respect, appreciation, and value, then you're free to continue your journey to your true self. And what an exciting journey that is. Now don't think of Maslow's hierarchy of needs as steps up a staircase because you can be working on fulfilling more than one level of needs at the same time. The main point, however, is this. If you have not met the needs of one level, then it becomes more difficult to meet the needs of the next level. For example, if you've never developed a sense of safety within you, including in relationships, then it would be difficult to meet the needs of the next level of love and belongingness. Thus, personal growth, recovery, and therapy involve learning how to identify and meet the unmet needs of earlier levels so that you can eventually become your true self. 
If you'd like help in your journey to your true self, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.